dear students we are solving the ib math a hl past papers and from today we are starting to solve the ib math a hl may 2022 paper 2 time zone 2 past paper today we will be solving the question number 1 the very first question of this paper you will be getting the links to all the previously solved questions of the other papers in form of playlists in my channel ns online math tutoring classes So without any further delay let us start with question number 1 the maximum mark is 6 and since it is paper 2 you can use your calculator the following diagram shows a circle with center o and the radius 5 meters you can see the circle the radius is 5 meters so this is 5 and this is 5 and points a and b a and b lie on the circle and the angle aob is equal to 1.9 radians okay and now coming to the first sub part sub part a find the length of the chord ab that is this one okay the triangle eob is an isosceles triangle so if i draw a perpendicular from o to this chord ab it will be bisecting the chord ab because eob is an isosceles triangle okay so and not only will it be bisecting the chord ab maybe i'm i'm taking this foot of the perpendicular i am naming the foot of the perpendicular as m so am equal to bm not only is it bisecting the chord this om line it is perpendicular to ab and it is bisecting the ab chord but it is also bisecting this angle aob so this will be 1.9 over 2 and this will also be 1.9 over 2 it is bisecting both the chord and the angle okay so if i take the okay let me write from here let me start writing from here sub part a in triangle EOM EOM is a right angle triangle in triangle EOM i need the uh, length of AM so AM over EO EO is the hypotenuse so am over eo is equal to sin 1.9 over 2 this part is 1.9 over 2 this angle okay and this is the opposite this is the adjacent So AM over AO, AO is the hypotenuse, is equal to sine one point nine over two. Okay, and we know that AO is five. Therefore, AM is equal to in place of AO, I am writing five. Is AO times sine one point nine over two, so it is five. sin 1.9 over 2 therefore ab chord ab will be 2 times am because am is the am equal to bm m is the midpoint of the chord ab so ab will be equal to 2 times 5 times sin 1.9 over 2 or length of chord ab is equal to 2 times 5 will be 
10 10 10 sin 1.9 over 2 so let us use the calculator it is 10 times 1 point, uh, sin 1.9 over 2 Enter. 8.13415. Which is up to three significant figures. It is 8.13 meters. Okay. So the Length of the cord is 8.13 meters. We are done with subpart A, subpart B. Find the area of the shaded sector, this part. Okay. So, area of the shaded sector, you can get the area of the shaded sector in two ways. You can get the area of the circle whose radius is 5 meters. It is pi r square. So, pi times pi square, which is 25 pi, will be the area of the circle minus the area of the unshaded sector. You know the center angle. It is 1.9. And you know the area of the sector formula, half theta r square. So, you get the area of the full triangle, uh, sorry, circle, that is 25 pi minus area of the unshaded sector will be giving you the area of the shaded sector. This is one way. Or is you have to get the this angle. This angle will be what? The sum total, the total angle around a point will be always 360 degree or 2 pi, 2 pi radians. So we have to get, if we want to get this angle, this should be equal to 2 pi minus 1.9 because 1.9 is this part. So this angle will be 2, point, uh, 2 pi minus 1.9. And then we will be using the half theta r square formula. We know r, we know theta, we know. So we can get the area of the shaded circle, uh, sector. So I, let, us, uh, let us use this one. So area of the shaded sector. is equal to half theta r square, which is equal to half times 2 pi minus 1.9 times r is 5, so 5 square. Okay. So, this will be equal to, let us go to the calculator. It is Half times theta is two times pi minus one point nine times r square. R is five. Five square equal to fifty four point seven eight nine eight two. 54.78982. 54.78982. Or up to three significant figures, it is 54.8 and meter square. So, we have completed solving the question number one completely. We have solved and thank you for staying with me till the end. I am Nilanjana Sanyal. I am an online IB Math ASL and HL level tutor. I tutor students from both within India and outside India and 
I offer both one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring sessions to my students. And as you are seeing that I am uh, creating these videos and I'm posting these videos in my YouTube channel. In case you are liking my explanations, please do give this video a like and please do share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching this video. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It will be motivating me to make more mad videos for you. And we meet again very soon in our next session. We will be solving the question number two of the same paper. So till then, bye.